After forgetting a lot of names, not remembering information when I actually really need it and losing track of my tasks and deadlines, my ADHD brain finally settled on a setup that works like a second brain. Someone once said, Your mind is for having ideas, not holding them. The brain is indeed made for thinking, not just for storing information. I find this especially true in my case as my mind barely remembers anything let alone ideas. That's why I really needed a second brain system. My ADHD brain refuses to do anything that isn't challenging, so I've given it a life RPG theme to make it more exciting. But you can also use a regular, simpler version, if that's your style. As a perfectionist, I originally packed it with so many fields, it felt overwhelming. But don't worry, I've simplified it for normal people's use. You don't need to implement all of it, just pick and choose what works for you. The system will still work as it should. Setting this up takes a little effort up front, but it's totally worth it. If you're not familiar with the concepts, here's a super quick summary. A life RPG is a system where you treat your life like a game. Think quests, leveling up, and achievements. A second brain is your personal organization system. Tracking tasks, goals, and growth so you don't have to rely on memory alone. I tried everything. Notion, Obsidian, physical journals, even personal websites. But nothing fully satisfied my needs. Here's what I was looking for. Seamless and instant sync across all devices. Unlimited reminders. Easy and quick creation, management and access to info. A single place for everything. Notes, reminders, large texts, security and privacy. Expandability without resetting everything. Available in your pocket regardless of Wi-Fi. And guess what? I never thought I would say this but the built-in Apple Notes and Reminders apps are absolute powerhouses for this. If you don't have these, don't worry. The system can work with other apps too. Now let's dive into the system itself. It's split into four main categories. Actions, for all your tasks, to-dos, planning, and tracking. This is your everyday workhorse. Inventory, a collection of all your lists, databases, and resources. Admin, anything personal, like thoughts, confidential documents, or preferences. Domains, the space for passion projects, job-related work, hobbies, and personal development. Before we dive in, I know this system may seem like a lot of information and a bit confusing, but I've summarized everything at the end of the video for easy reference. So, for now, just focus on understanding the role of each field and its purpose. Start with actions. This is where all your projects and tasks live. I like to break them down into quests because why not? Life is a game anyway. Immediate quests. These are your urgent, in-progress tasks, the things that need your attention right now. Think of them as your top priorities for the day or week. Daily commissions. These are your everyday to-dos. Simple, recurring tasks that keep life moving forward, like chores, errands, or daily habits. Marketplace trades. This is your shopping list. Everything you need to buy or restock, from groceries to household items. Main quests. These are your long-term projects, the big goals or milestones you're working toward. Think of this as your mission in life, whether it's career goals, creative projects, or personal growth. Side quests. These are smaller tasks that support your main projects. They're still important, but not as central. Think of them as the smaller stepping stones toward achieving your bigger goals. World quests. These are non-priority, long-term goals. The kind of tasks that don't have an immediate deadline, but are still on your radar for the future. Memory flashes. This is where you jot down quick notes or bits of info that you need to remember. Whether it's ideas, reminders, or random thoughts, this section keeps your mind clutter-free. And don't forget your boss battles. Here you track your habits, good and bad. Virtue allies, habits you want to cultivate. Vice enemies, habits you want to break, like for example snoozing the alarm, or maybe bothering people. And if you defeat your vices, strengthen your virtues, you can earn rewards like snacks, breaks, or some much-needed rest. Progress. This is where you track your level, points, and overall status. Think of it as your personal insight on your health, body, and wellness, helping you see how far you've come and what's next on your journey. Goals and achievements. These are derived directly from your vision and long-term goals. It's all about breaking down your big picture dreams into actionable steps and celebrating the milestones along the way. Additional field. If you're someone who has a vibrant social life, this field is for you. Co-op is about engaging with friends, family, or colleagues whether it's group activities, collaborative projects, events, or even festivals. It brings a social element into your system, letting you track your shared goals and experiences. Finance. Everything related to your budget, income, expenses, and investments is stored in this field. Routines. This covers all your daily, weekly, monthly, and even yearly routines. Whether it's your diet, workout plan, or cleaning schedule, you'll track it here. Opera House, which is all about tracking your entertainment, art and media consumption. Key subfields include 
Melody Hall. This is where you track all your music-related content, whether it's what you're currently listening to, various curated playlists, waiting for new album release, or the platform you're using. Library Hall. Here, you track all your reading material, books, manga, manhwa, webtoons, light novels, and so on. It's organized by current reads, wishlist completed, dropped, and platform. I have seen some people reading at least 40 to 50 works at a time and struggling to track the updates or their previous progress. I am one of them. And after failing to find a proper system, I created my own. I'll probably make a separate video on this topic if needed. Theater Hall. This section is for everything you're watching, like movies, series, and dramas. Again, you'll track the current, dropped, wishlist, and completed content here. Arcade Hall. This is where all your gaming content is tracked, whether it's games you're playing, have finished, or plan to try. Hall of Fame. Once you've completed any of the content from the previous sections, you can list them here, along with reviews or notes about your favorites. Inventory. A collection of all your lists, databases, and resources. Relic House. This is where all your household items and personal belongings are stored. Key subfields include artifacts and gear. This covers all your tech, gadgets, and related items. Bookhouse. As the name suggests, this is where all your books and related resources are tracked. Armor Chamber. This section is all about your wardrobe and visual presentation. Key subfields include Charm Alchemy. Everything related to skincare, makeup, and self-care routines goes here. Precious Items. This is where you track your jewelry and accessories. Expedition Bundle. A packing list for when you're on the move. Key subfields include Wanderer's Kit. Your everyday carry essentials. Expedition Kit. Your packing list for trips and travels. Cafe Tea House. This is where all food and consumable items are tracked. Key subfields include Ambrosia Codex, your go to place for all recipes. Potions and elixirs. This is where you list your favorite drinks. Delicacies, a catalog of all your snacks. Gourmet materials. This section covers grocery stocks. Arctic Dimension, items you currently have in the fridge. Marketplace. This section handles all buy, sell, or donation related items. Wish, a wish list for items you plan to buy. Trade, items you're planning to sell, donate, or trade. Payments bargain, waiting for sales or discounts, this is where you track that. Wishing well, a wish list for gifts you're hoping to receive from others. Cut scenes, this field is for memorable moments and important information you wish to remember. Important dates, a log of significant events like birthdays, anniversaries, creative breakthroughs, or personal milestones. Waypoint. This is where you save your bookmarks, everything you need to remember or come back to later. Additional fields. Players. Track people's info here, whether it's friends, family, or colleagues. Map. A collection of addresses, maps, and location details. Quotes cutscenes. This is where you store any inspiring quotes or memorable lines, similar to a commonplace book. Admin. Anything personal, like thoughts, confidential documents, or preferences. Vault. This is where you store all your important, confidential information. It's your secure place for sensitive data, whether that's personal documents or private details. Floating Chamber. The floating chamber is for current or temporary important info. Think of it as a holding area for things you're working on now, but might not need long term. Opus Ledger. This is the documentation of your personal preferences, interests, and various lists. It's broken down into a few subfields. Quest log, travel log, a journal for tracking your tasks and travels, whether it's a personal diary or notes from your adventures. Progress Chronicle. This is your personal development log, where you record how you're growing, learning, and progressing over time. Staple items, a list of your essential items, things you always want to have on hand. Envisaged echoes, a place to document your vision, goals, and achievements. It's all about keeping track of where you want to go and what you've already accomplished. Bucket list, wish list. This is where you keep your list of goals and things you'd love to do or acquire in before you die. Finally, we have domains, your creative zone handbook. This is essentially your commonplace book where you store everything related to personal growth and knowledge. It includes several key subfields, languages, a place to track your language learning progress and notes. Spiral Abyss. This is where you document your hobbies and hyperfixations, anything you're really passionate about at the moment. Research and additional knowledge gathering. A field for any topics you're diving deep into, whether it's a course, an area of interest, or self-study. Constellation Ascension. Think of this as your roadmap for personal development. It's where you track your future plans and skills development, 
Additional fields. Travel plans. If you're planning trips or vacations, this is where all those details go. Sanctuary. This is all about your home. Track house chores, decor ideas, decluttering efforts, and anything related to creating a peaceful living space. Passion project. Here's where all your creative actions live. Whether it's writing, art, music, or any other passion project, this is where you organize and track your progress. Guild. This field holds all your career or job-related important information. It includes anything confidential or crucial to your professional life. So that's my second brain system showcase. It's customizable, simple, and really keeps me on track. Here's a summarized view of the entire system for easy reference. Feel free to pause the video and take screenshots if you need to. In the next video I'll show you exactly how to set it up step by step. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. Like and subscribe if you're interested in similar topics. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.